Firstly, when you look at the scenario of people looking for or the expectation of people will have time off for a big football match or that the company may give the time off, which sometimes people have that expectation. It's important that you manage that conflict because that, that immediately causes conflict between what we're trying to do as an organization and production and maybe we have you know, a lot of stuff to get out the door versus the expectations of employees. So the conflict arises because you have those two separate tracks going on where the expectations are different. So from my point of view in managing that conflict, it's important that you make it very clear to employees when they make that approach, you know, can we change, can we do something different, can we watch the match? Management response has to be very clear. But it also has to consider everyone in the organization. It's not about just the people who want to watch the match. And while in this scenario, it says probably everyone will want to watch it, there are always exceptions. There are people that will have conflicts in their life where they have to drop kids to school, collect children after work, etc. Therefore, they can't stay and watch the match. The other issue is the conflict of where do people watch the match. The expectation from the employees may be that they're going to the boardroom and they're going to stop production and we're all going to get some time off. It's important that you manage that issue and from my point of view I would be suggesting that you put some options in place for the employees such as one, you can work two hours either over two or three days, uh, you can come in early or stay late and those two hours would be deducted and you'll be able to finish at 230 go home, watch the match, or go downtown, whatever people want to do. Um, that would be the first option. That sets an expectation from the company that, yes, we're willing to let people off for the match, but you need to work up your two hours. We are not giving you two hours. We're not setting a precedent. And that's very important going forward because it's not just about this particular game. It's about what happens in the future. What happens if it's not just football, if it's rugby, if it's hockey, if it's other sports that people have a keen interest in, and you can't be seen to favour one over the other. So it's important that when you set out your stall and say, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to allow people work up to two hours, finish at 2.30 the day of the game, and they can go leave the building and go watch the match. That would be the first option. Second option is you have to think of the people who can't come in and do that overtime, who can't come in early, go or stay late. What do you do for them? One, they may not have an interest in the match, therefore, they potentially could stay and work up until 4.30 to the end of the shift. That's an option for them. Secondly, you can also offer people time off or in the sense of they can take it out of their holiday time. So they can take the two hours off, but they need to take it out of their holiday time. And, and that will cater for people who can't come in early or stay late and want to watch the match or people who just want to go home at that time because everyone else is going to be gone. But it's very important that people have the option to stay on as well. And you will get two or three or four people that will want to do that, have no interest in sport, or because of their own conflicting issues they have with family life, have to stay till that time and then do what they normally do. So it's critical that you consider all your employees, that you look at what the options are, that you don't set a precedent going forward where you've brought everyone to the boardroom, you've given them the two hours off on the company, and going forward, everyone has that expectation. It, it's very important that you set out what is it that the company wants to do and be fair and equitable to everyone. What is it from cost point of view that the company doesn't lose out in production, doesn't lose out in shipments, doesn't look out, lose out for customers. Um, you have to consider all of those points and at the same time try and be fair to employees.